Multidrug resistant tuberculosis is one of the, the biggest barriers and challenges to TB elimination because of the toxicity and because of the length of treatment. It's a big burden on the patients and also a big burden on the health system and a, a big cost to the health system as well. Strengthening existing health systems in TB platforms is absolutely critical for TB and MDR-TB management. The USAID Control and Prevention of Tuberculosis Project is the CAP-TB project funded by USAID's Regional Development Mission for Asia. The um, estimated numbers of MDR-TB patients arising in China in the year of 2014 was approximately 51,000, one of the highest contributors to MDR-TB globally. It was very important for USA to establish an MDR-TB program in the region because of the high numbers. Through the introduction of the new diagnostic technologies, even some new drugs, patient management systems, and even patient support groups, we think that the countries will be on the right road to eliminate MDR-TB in the years ahead. The CAPTB project originally uh, started with a focus on the Greater Mekong subregion. We started in Yunnan province of China and as well the countries of Thailand and Myanmar. We've had really strong support from the Yunnan provincial government. We've pa uh, partnered and collaborated very closely with the Yunnan CDC. In China, Yunnan is also Jehoping one of the key components of this end TB strategy is having a patient-centered approach. The病人为中心的关怀其实是一个蛮重要的环节。通过这个途径呢，可以跟那个改善他们治疗的一重性，增强他们的治疗信心。你不光是要对他的病情要了解，那你可能还需要了解一下病人的这个家庭的情况啊
。大型文艺宣传活动的话，我们在呃宣传活动里面会弄一些就是结结合并知识问答，然后呃结合并相关的小品，然后一些文艺演出。既可以跟观观众嗯互动，然后又又让他们学习到嗯更多的结合病知识。A strong TB platform and health system are absolutely critical to manage TB and to prevent MDRTB. 继而，在他们的一个现场的这个基础上呢，我们就在 CAPTB 项目支持下呢，开发出了一系列的一个培训教材，嗯，并开始了多轮次的专门针对定点医院医生的他的一个能力的一个培训，开阔了我们的眼界，他让我们有机会能见到这个全世界最知名的结核病的专家。One of our strategies that we've started here in Yunnan Province is the MDRTB Clinical Management Platform. 第三方面的话 ，CAPTB 项目主要是针对医生的需求，而开发了一个比较方便医生查询使用的，我们叫做耐多药患者的个案管理那个系统。那么它更为了解患者的基本的情况的话，能够将来更有助于我们对患者他的那个依从性的一个改善。For people living with HIV, MDRTB has very high mortality, so there are really a lot of challenges, and is one of the key reasons why we've prioritized our work uh, with the Union AIDS Care Center. 那么，开本 TB 项目呢，把我们这一个呢，这个环节理顺了，同时呢，住院部出院的病人，他又转接到门诊，或者是转接到其他医院去，给业务上呢，也去。有很多的这些国外的这些有名的专家，对这个我们的临床医生呢进行指导和培训。One of the goals for working with the United AIDS Care Center is to develop an algorithm that integrates gene expert to improve the diagnostic accuracy. 因为我们知道艾滋病病人他不容易啊。口痰里边能够用普通的方法查到结核菌，所以我们现在呢，通过 Gene Expert 的方法，能够最快、最有效的诊断结核病人呢，能在一天之内就给他明确诊断，然后及时的开始用药。We've been able to to demonstrate to the government that the approaches that we've introduced. Are meaningful and effective. The national government is very interested to scale up the approaches that have been successful in Yunnan to other regions in China. 对行政决策者来讲，我觉得最主要的是它更新和改变了我们的对患者关怀的一些理念。那么它引导我们从患者的个体角度来看患者的需求，可能不仅仅是呃金钱或者是这物质上的帮助，可能心理的需求和支持以及同伴教育它不可替代的作用。The national average for MDRTB treatment success in China is 50%. Our treatment success here in Yunnan Province is 74%. We believe that um, there are several key reasons for this, um, but certainly the patient-centered approach, the community-driven approach, and the strengthening of the TB platforms most likely have contributed to that. We are trying to do everything that we can to support our patients.